Hello, welcome to Rat Tail. I am your friend Adrian. And I am your friend Chris. Welcome to Rat Tail. Rat Tail is a channel where we react, we on. love on all, all things, things, new kids on the block. block. And everyone's welcome here, blockheads like myself. And non blockheads like myself. Everyone oh. is welcome oh. here. One day we're going to get your oh, night all set of that. Yeah, yeah. Come on, big boy. <laughs> we're waiting. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello. Awesome. Uh, you guys, listen. For all of you who are not a current subscriber, why don't you hit that button right now? And while you do that, all of our current subscribers get to enjoy this lovely piece of eye candy. Isn't it nice to be a subscriber and get to stare at that eye candy? I think so. Make sure to smash that button so that you can be an eye candy grabber too. And we'd love for you to join our family. Oh, we love our family. We love them. Today is a really, really fun episode. Today we are going to be watching the infamous, <laughs> infamous, uh -huh. February 5th, 1992, Arsenio Hall performance. Of the new kids on the block. Never seen it. Never seen it. Never heard of it. Awesome. Well, I didn't see it when it happened because my parents didn't let me watch late night television. And Arsenio was late night for us. Um, but I have seen it before. It's a, it's pretty infamous. Now, Chris, do you know why it's infamous? I have no idea. Yeah. Well, let me let me tell you a little bit about why it's infamous. Yeah. Let me fill you in. <laughs> okay. So. In February of 1992, Greg McPherson, who was their former music director, filed a lawsuit against them, claiming <gasps> that they did not sing their lead vocals. Never. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. They never lip sync. What are you talking about? I know. Seriously. So the new kids fired back, and their publicists got their asses on Arsenio Hall. And what we know, and thanks to the fans on Twitter that helped us realize this, that they were actually on their Australian part of their world tour, and they literally flew to Arsenio and flew right back. Oh and so as legend has it, and what you'll see, Jordan was pretty exhausted, and there was just, you could tell they're under so much pressure because they wanted to perform live to prove to all the haters that they're live performers. So. Okay. It's a pretty pivotal and important performance in their career. We know they've had a long-standing relationship with Arsenio Hall. They showed up, they were on his show all the time. Okay. Yeah, so Arsenio really showed up for our five guys and yeah. provided a platform. So I think it'll be fun to enjoy this with some shots. How about that? I think we should do special shots. Oh, tell us about it. <laughs> so y'all, tonight we had some In-N-Out Burger uh, West Coast. We had In-N-Out before and, this. Um, so we're going to try shots and mix in our sodas, which some of you call pop. <laughs> so let's and what do a we little mix? vodka vodka first. Yes, the whipped cream vodka. Whipped cream vodka. The one I choked on. The, the one that we thought was going to be smooth and beautiful. It was so gross by itself. <laughs> and it's probably alcohol with a hint of vanilla extract. So I, I have um, Dr. Pepper. And I have Sprite. Great. So we're going to try Sprite shots and Dr. Pepper, Pepper shots. shots. Okay. Mine I feel like is going to be better. <laughs> okay. I'm ex I'm excited to do this. Don't spill. Okay. I did it. You know, look at us. We're like drink masters. We're mixologists. Thank you. I was mixologist is the word. We're drink masters also. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Arsenio Rat. <gasps> Not bad. Can I try yours, Chris? Yeah, I want to try yours too. Okay. Let me make one. Oh. All right, so oh, now we so switch. I have a Sprite. Sorry, I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so now we switched. I'm going to try the Dr. Pepper. And I'm trying the Sprite. Um. <gasps> Sprite's better. In my opinion. Oh, that whipped cream comes in too. You know what I think it is, though, honestly? Uh, I think it would be better with non-flavored vodka. Yeah. We Next uh, episode, we'll get back to our regular vodka. Uh, we'll get back to the regularly programmed vodka. All right. 
That's and we'll see if this one lights because last time it hit me mid episode, I was pretty blasted. Yeah, my brother was watching in the hallway and he was cracking up the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> got blasted off a of whipped cream vodka. All right, I'm so excited for this. You ready? Yes. Cool. Here we go. Is that a real old lady? I don't oh, know. That one. A plant? N K O T B steel kickings. What? Whatever. Oh, it says ass. Okay. Says ass. Ass. What's your name? Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna skip this part. He starts out with a interview where he interviews fans, and they say we believe in our guys. And right. the, there's another guy who says they dance a lot, so of course they have to have some backup, which I totally agree with. I don't come to the shows to watch new kids stand there still, so they can have their vocals completely oh. on point. Like, so he brings some reality into the situation. But Arsenio has a very special guest in the audience, it turns out. Let's find out who that is. That's involved in a lot of these shows. They do get very tired. Mm -hmm. And if they have to lap sing, so be it. Mm -hmm. You know what? Tonight, uh, tonight, even though they've flown a long way, the fella said, we sang it tonight. <laughs> Oh, we're singing tonight. We're singing tonight. <laughs> Love it. Jordan, Jordan is real tired, and he said, "I'm tired, but <laughs> I'm singing." <laughs> he said, "I'm singing." Here's a gentleman that might have opinion. Everybody's heard of Maurice Starr. Oh. You gotta get to be Maurice Starr. Yes. Um, for those of you who don't know who Maurice Starr is, he's the mastermind behind Perfect Gentleman, New Kids on the Block, New Edition. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a whole lot of people we love. Uh, hi, Mr. Star. No, I'm just kidding. I just, just kidding. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, pretty good. How you doing, Arsenio? I'm all right. Exactly what is the lawsuit about? Who is it against? Uh, is it you? Is it them? Actually, it's, uh, I, it's probably, he's, I think he's using them to try to get to me, to try to get to some money. Ah. I believe that's really what it is. Because so the guys sing, they're singing 100% tonight, and, um, no one from my organization know him any money, so I think it's just like it's a, a lot of people sometimes take pop shots at people when once they become superstars and stuff. So this, you know, I, I've I've read interviews that you've done, and you say sometimes um, they've used background stuff, but all their leads. I know on this show, uh, all their leads have always been live. Always been live, all their leads. Now people say you're like the rich little of the ghetto. Uh, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. That, that. They don't say that exactly. That's kind of a term I made up. But what they mean is that you're kind of a mimic or an impressionist. And at any point, what, what are you, 38 years old? I'm 38 now. He's 38. I, I, I still sometimes freak out when I see people from long ago that are as old as I am. Yeah. Like, he's 38 there. It's so weird. I'm older than him. Than, yeah. Oh, it's weird. At any point, they say you could sound like a 14 year old. Now, I tell you what. So there were accusations that he sang on the record. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the way to end that. Because a lot of people say that you and your brother do 20% and upward um, the singing for the group. Sing for me. Anything. I don't care. Cowboys, the girls. Uh, the, the. Okay. Okay, Luther. Vandross. <laughs> I, I have a new kid's album, and I ain't heard no runs like that. <laughs> and, uh, okay, point proven. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what my next question is now. Uh, <laughs> have you ever sang on one of their albums? Only background with the guys, and, it, and it's great. I'm pretty sure anybody in here would love to sing some backgrounds with new kids on the album. Oh, I would. I'd do more in the background than just but sing. all the lead vocals on oh, their albums are done by new kids. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I do know, but I will share. Okay, well, there's nothing that we can do at this point but right. to say, ladies and gentlemen, singing live. New kids on the block! Oh, I love it. So before we watch them sing, you can tell that this was definitely a publicity move, probably yeah. a much needed one. It was like, Hopefully. yeah, it was all over the newspapers. I did research and there were uh, there were articles all over the place about how they were being accused of lip singing. So this was their response. And let's see how they do. Okay. <laughs> Yo, 
Okay, first off, Jordan looks like a snack. <laughs> to think he flew from Australia for this and still looks that fucking good. It's like I'm all black. He's dreamy. He's like the Johnny Cash of the new kids right now. Because he's wearing all black. Oh. Yeah, baby. You me roll back to me thrusting. well thrust. Oh, thrust who cares about lip syncing when you've got thrusting, thrusting. you can't tell they're exhausted though you kind of can huh I love you, always thinking of you. Better believe I got my pride. <laughs> Sooner or later. Step by step. Oh, that's right, I've heard it. I know I've heard this song before. By the way, Donnie, come and do me in this outfit. That's all I gotta say. You always love me where it's past. Oh my god. Donnie! <laughs> look at it. He, he's doing that, like, ugh, that where he licks his thumbs. Let's, wait, look at it again. Look at it again. It's so fucking high. <laughs> where he licks his fingers. <laughs> Never forget ya. Love is gonna get ya. <laughs> look at Danny's hair. Oh my god. Danny with a buzz cut is fire. This is combustible fire. So turned on by Danny with the buzz cut. Look at him. And he's wearing the black and white pants, which are fun. Okay. Should we look at it again? Let's look at it again to watch the dick grab. Is that what we... Oh, a new turn. A little dick grab. Oh my god! They got the crowd up! What's she gonna do about it? It happens all the time. Get it, Donnie! <laughs> Fahrenheit. You get my face is red, huh? Yeah, because you're thinking of. I, grab I'm sorry, Donnie. Rap. Donnie apparently wrote that rap on the plane. Um, he's tired. It's amazing. He's basically saying you're a bitch, and the guy was a bitch. He did it for money. He later recanted through the settlement. He recanted the whole thing. They settled. Well, see, that's the like. Yeah, they I'm settled out of court. Well, it, for, yeah, something like that, and. Jordan and John sued him for defamation after that. I don't know if they As won. They right. But, like, this is Donnie saying, shots fired. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with my boys. Yeah. It's the hottest thing ever. So turned on. Doing the lawsuits, like, yeah, um, I said you couldn't sing live, I didn't say rap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the right stuff. Oh, right stuff. All right, so that was fun seeing some of the right stuff. Let's yeah. see a little bit of their interview. Okay. 
Okay, now let's hear what they have to say. Now, I'm going to ask you to hold it down because they've come a long way, many hours, to justify their careers, to save their dignity, their pride, all that kind of, you know what I mean? Wow. They are here to speak. Uh, how did you all first hear about this controversy? Um, I had first heard about it uh, when my manager came to my room in the morning. Uh, Dick Scott came to the room and he, he said, yeah, you heard about... Uh, you know, so and so. He's uh, Greg McPherson. To Maurice and said you guys didn't sing, and I laughed. You know, I, I out and out laughed. Me and Dick both laughed because we figured it was just a, you know, you know, we we've known the dude. You know what I'm saying? We he worked with us for a while. In fact, he was on the show with us before here, and uh, we know how he is. You know what I'm saying? It's not the first time he's tried to do something like that, and uh, so really we just laughed it off. Everybody was just laughing off until we found out that the worldwide media had given this dude instant credibility and put him on the headlines of all the people. Do you ever remember that, seeing any of the headlines on this? this guy out no. of nowhere. Oh, okay. and said, oh yes. I remember a lot of it because yeah. it was this like talk of the town. The new kids producer. If you were a new kids fan. Stars, our producer, we've been criticized. What is this guy? Yeah. He was our musical director. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and link this link down below. And we definitely want to encourage you to watch the interview. Um, I think the guys do a really great job justifying themselves, and um, I think as a fan, if you're already a blockhead, you really already get it, and if you've ever been to a show, all of their shows are live, and mm -hmm. you can tell. So, um, yeah, so we want to encourage you to click on that link and check out the interview, because you're really going to enjoy it. The guys are just so articulate. And they really do a good job sticking up for themselves. Yeah. Oh, makes makes me proud to be a fan. Love that. Cool. Well, um, we're gonna head into the piece de resistance, which is how they end their time at Arsenio. Okay. And they end it with a very fun, lovely song. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Hit. If you go away, there's new kids on the If block. you go away. You remember? You're taking my heart with you. What is this song called again? If you go away, girl. Oh, that's the graveyard. Show. This is the graveyard one. And remember, they ha they're in black and white, and Donnie looks so fuckable in it with his lips. Yeah, okay. Good. Okay. <gasps> Jordan K. How close to Jordan H on set? This summer, be the first oh, to experience great in Antica, your drive to destination for family fun. Thoughts? It's rough, you guys. <laughs> I give it's it a rough, rough vocal. Very <laughs> <laughs> it is to like how many freaking hours is our city in New York, by the way? I don't know. I'm assuming so, or, yeah. Like, either, either way. It's yeah. Like across, you know, Flight to Australia is what, 18 hours, 16 from, hours? Good question, right? Where? I don't know, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I get it, but they it's sad because, like, they're proving it with, like, Medi kind of mediocre vocals. Yeah. But you know they sing live. It's obvious. You know? Yeah. And can you imagine the amount of pressure they're on? Yeah. So like, it's the pressure, it's the exhaustion, it's yeah. jet lag, okay. it's everything. But they're doing it. They're doing it. Now they're checking their ears. Checking their ears. Can I hear this right? Yeah, it's just no. Oh. This one's better. 
<laughs> Why do you wonder three? Jordan Falsetto just coming in to save the day, isn't it? Yeah, it was, it was good. That's not bad. Do you see his jeans? I was just gonna those say jeans make like, him look hippie, doesn't it? It's like those like old dad clothes and stuff. Oh, the early nineties were not oh, kind to men. They're just not flattering. And you got me. Danny wearing the black and white. Now thank God Danny looks like a piece of fucking ass with his head. And he you know, but those black and white like jeans. A piece of fucking ass. Yeah. Sounds like an insult. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Break it down, break it down. Look at another baby. Some Try not to sing over it. <laughs> Danny's coming in. That's pretty. I'm proud of them. Me and too. They did a good job. It was a good interview. Good interview. Make sure yeah. to go check out that interview. Yeah, check it out. So articulate, so thoughtful. And I love that they didn't put up with any bullshit. Yeah, no bullshit. Yeah, no bullshit. And that great harmony at the end. I think my favorite part was uh, Danny telling me to lip sync this and giving me full directions on what he means. And he gave you a dick grab. Yeah, so we're down with that. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for spending thanks, time guys. with us. Smash that subscribe button. Um, we, I remember in our last episode, we were right before a thousand. And guess who we are <laughs> now? We're so grateful. But that's not the end. We want more fam, family. We sure do. Hurry up and become our friends. Smash that subscribe. Yeah, we want to love you. Yeah, because we do love you. Yes. Oh my gosh, sending you so much love. Hope you are well, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.